chlorophyll is in vogue, indoors as well as out. Yes, the trend is for in and out, anything that works just as well outside as inside. Let's take it from the beginning. This big Parisian department store always has its ear on the ground when it comes to trends and it now offers a huge range of greenery. Let's take a look. Today we live in a very stressful world. We never seem to have enough time and what do we want? The answer is often that we look for reassurance by going back to basics. Which is nature. What's interesting about this trend is that there is a new admiration for natural materials. For example, wood is making a huge comeback and for any sources of inspiration linked to nature, even just in terms of patterns or shapes. So at the moment there's a lot of patterns representing grasses and flowers, for example. Fruit, vegetable, plants, and why not a cactus or two? Because yes, it's official, anything goes. I really love this, because it's a leak bag. So it's shaped like leeks, and it's great for shopping at the market. People are looking for more greenery in their homes, and now we get to the crux of the matter. A lot of products nowadays are what we call in and out, which means that they can be used both indoors and outdoors. In and out. We'll have to see it to believe it. The cows had better keep a low profile. This is a milk jug, like a real farmhouse milk jug. And watering cans, little watering cans. And then something that I adore is this little kit of little zinc pots for growing herbs. You can write the names of the herbs on them, and then there's also a tiny spade and rake to tend them with. The idea is basically to allow people living in an urban environment to be at one with nature as much as possible. And those of you living in the countryside, don't laugh. Keep watching and you might see something you like. Hello, and welcome to Stabs. Because in and out is also about some really stylish furniture ideas. Our shop is devoted to outdoor furniture, objects for balconies, patios and gardens. A lot of the furniture that we sell can have a sort of double life. In other words, it can just as easily be placed inside the house as outdoors. In terms of the appearance and shape, the colors and the materials used. So there you are. In our range of sun umbrellas, there are two that spring to mind, that we could also imagine indoors. One that is like a big sail, or a bit like the wings of a hang glider, and it would look good in a big open loft style apartment, to create a cozy feel. And the other sun umbrella that I'm thinking of is called Camerarius. It's like a sort of bouquet of little parasols inserted into a base, that we can move around and adapt almost however we want. In fact, the other day, a customer who was thinking of buying this parasol told us that if she bought it, she would put it in her living room because it's such a beautiful object. If you have enough space and a high ceiling, it would look really great indoors. But don't worry, there are some simpler and smaller options. So this is a woven rope lounger chair. Woven rope is extremely durable and modern. The materials are carefully researched to survive out of doors. The cushion, for example, is made of a type of neoprene, like the material used for wetsuits. It dries extremely quickly and is very resistant. Not bad at all. Your all deck chair must feel a bit classical by now. Then there are these large light pots that come in a wide range of colors in various sizes. Some are really huge. I think it's a really interesting idea to transform a plant pot into an element of lighting. That's all for now for the furniture. But the in and out must is to have an indoor garden, like Pierre for example. Hello, let me show you the garden. Follow me. So here's the garden, but remember to keep off the grass. We 
My wife and I have always loved plants. So here, having lots and lots of different species in a setup that is specially made for them, where the pots don't rise above the level of the ground, it's a little haven of nature inside the house. And no need to worry about the amount of light or the temperature. The garden takes care of itself and you can plant whatever the season. My wife and I really wanted to have a banana plant like this because we've just come back from a holiday in Mexico. They're everywhere over there. They spring up all over the place. And the others, that's an alocasia. The common name is elephant's ear. I don't know how the garden will evolve. I think that the banana plant will grow big, it might end up taking up all the space. The garden's a bit of an adventure, which is what's interesting about it. In any case, with plants, there's no point trying to control them. You just have to listen to them and watch over them. So how does it work? We asked Les Jardins Suspendus, a specialist chain that is still reeling from its sudden success. Up until now, we grew plants in the earth, but today, thanks to new horticultural techniques, we can grow plants without soil, using artificial light and automatic irrigation systems. It sounds complicated, but in fact, it's very simple. Once the garden is in place, there's almost nothing else to do. Soil is messy and it attracts insects, or you can get weeds appearing. So, for example, we take an aloe vera plant, take it out of its pot and get rid of the little shoots. Then we replace the soil with clay pellets. They are an inert substratum, in other words, they don't become moldy or rotten. The pellets are made of baked clay and we place the plant in them. Then we're going to install a watering system that introduces a solution of water and fertilizer through the pellets, and the plant will grow much better than in soil. But if you don't have room for a stunning indoor garden, you might prefer a wall of plants. It is possible. Hello and welcome to my home. So, welcome to the balcony. So, as you can see, there's an incredible view of the Eiffel Tower. And there's everything you need to do a bit of gardening. I've got a lawn, I've got tomatoes, I've got rocket stems, and I'm going to collect the seeds. I've even got courgettes and strawberries. I'd like you to taste them because I can promise you that they don't taste anything like what you buy in the shops. Okay, there's strawberries, but there's also a decorative vertical garden that doesn't take up any space. I adore plants, and I can't live without them, so this wall of plants allows me to have even more greenery, and at the same time, it's really easy to look after. It's like a living painting that I have made myself, and at the same time, it requires hardly any upkeep. So I can go off on holiday and I don't have to worry about it. Whereas the other plants are a different matter. I went away for a weekend a while ago when the weather was scorching hot and they suffered a bit. Everyone that comes here comments on the wall and I adore sleeping with it and waking up with it. Basically, I love living with my wall. But the question on everybody's lips is, how does it work? It's not all that complicated to make a wall of plants. In fact, it's really easy. First, you have to line the wall with a horticultural felt-like fabric that retains the water and that the plants can put their roots down into. So a plant wall like this is very simple. All you need is a pump in a tank of water and the horticultural felt. The pump regularly pumps up the water, which then spreads down and around the felt.
the light is activated automatically. There's nothing else to do. From time to time, you might want to check how a plant is doing or maybe replace it. You can change the plants, add some or remove some. The plant wall is very flexible and lasts as long as you want it to. So, indoors or outdoors? For me, there's something almost miraculous about having this little patch of greenery that we look after with love. And with a little fan, a bit of water vapor that comes out, we can cherish the plants. Outdoors moves indoors. It's a new way of looking at things.